Yes, boys, I know it's not the most ideal environment, not the most ideal setting to record this video, but my hands are tied. My options are limited. My four day old little boy is fast asleep on the bed upstairs. Kind of a small apartment. So I don't want to make a video shouting in the, the, the room next to him. So I've had to come down to my car. But who gives a shit where it is? It's what we're talking about in the video that's important. And I'm sure a lot of you will know by now. Liverpool have agreed a fee with Bayern Munich for Ryan Gravenberch. In and around 40 million euros. The likes of Fabrizio Romano saying there's a couple of million euros in add-ons as well. But regardless, it's around 40 million. So I wanted to obviously make this video to get you guys' opinions. Find out what you think about this deal. I, for one, personally, am excited. I look forward to it. I think Jurgen Klopp has built up enough trust with this success rate of transfers in the past. Because I think a lot of people will probably feel this is kind of an underwhelming transfer. We still need a defensive midfielder, etc, etc. And I obviously made a video a couple of days ago saying that I was leaning towards the opinion that actually we don't really need a defensive midfielder. If Andre comes in in January, he can be that proper number six. And for now... With Curtis Jones's injury record, with Thiago's injury record, with a lot of games coming up with Europa League, we actually, I thought, should have been more so leaning towards someone like Ryan Gravenberch. And here we are. Now, I think we kind of knew something may happen with this. We've been interested in him all summer. And lo and behold, here we are. So, look. Look at Jurgen Klopp's signings in the past. Genie Wijnaldum, relegated with Newcastle. Very underwhelming signing. Andy Robertson was even worse. 8 million for some left back who was playing with Hull. Crazy. But um, the two of them have put a stamp in our history as a club. you know. And I think Jurgen Klopp has built up enough trust for us to, uh, to have a bit of faith in who he thinks he can get the best out of. Obviously, he sees a little bit of a diamond in Ryan Gravenberch. So there's three options, I think, looking at this deal. And how this may potentially work and how Ryan Gravenberch fits into Liverpool. First things first, the most realistic option, the option that I hope for, is that Ryan Gravenberch is coming in to work hard, to earn his place in the team, and to settle for, certainly in his first year anyway, a rotation role. He's going to play every Thursday night in the Europa League. He's going to play his cup games. He'll come off the bench in the league. I'm sure he'll start some league games as well. But for the most part, we need to bulk up the squad. There's a lot of football coming up, a lot of Europa League games, a lot of travel, and we need legs in that midfield. We need options. We need more numbers. And that's why Ryan Gravenberch is coming in, certainly for his first season. And if he impresses, if he does well, if he shows maybe he could do a job at number six, then, you know, maybe he's our new number six. But that would be the first option and the most realistic option that he is coming in as a rotation role. And he's going to work hard to get into the team and etc etc we all know the rest right the second option is kind of what would worry me is if he is actually coming in as our number six as our defensive midfielder i wouldn't be too content with that i don't think he's that good of a player um in a defensive midfield role i think he's more of a box-to-box -box player um he's big and strong and takes long strides, he can carry the ball. I don't think he's that switched on defensively. He also slide tackles a lot and actually ends up just being left behind and getting bypassed in a game. Uh, loses quite a lot of 50-50s. Quite awkward when he's defending. But he's 21, he's raw in that aspect of his game. And that's where Jurgen Klopp will allow him to blossom. But if he's coming in to start as our number six, I would have a bit of concern with that. I don't think he's good enough right now to be our defensive midfielder. Um, the third option, which I would also kind of be excited about a little bit, would be maybe there could potentially be a change of system here for Liverpool. With Ryan Gravenberch coming in, that may signal we go to a 4-2-3-1. Gravenberch sits alongside Alexis McAllister, and that allows Trent and Andy Robertson to kind of bomb forward like the good old days as fullbacks like they used to do. And Soboslai is kind of the more central attacking midfielder. Salah, Diaz, Gakpo, Nunes, Jota. I mean, you choose three out of those out of those guys. But Soboslai would be a, a cam and Gravenberch and McAllister would sit. That's an option I would be excited about as well. But I think we're, we're sticking with this inverted fullback crazy system 
Um, and Ryan Gravenberch is coming in to bulk up the squad, to give us some fresh legs off the bench, to play games in the Europa League and the Cup games. And A young, hungry player with a point to prove. I think it's smart business. It's a good signing. I think we've... We've seen enough of Jurgen Klopp and his business and the players he brings in to trust him and to have a bit of faith and to give him time. And if he sees something in Ryan Gravenberg, then we have to trust him. And it actually, to be honest, reminds me a little bit. I know a lot of people have been mentioning Wijnaldum and Gravenberg, maybe because they're both Dutch, but similarities in their game. And maybe Gravenberg can do a similar role to Wijnaldum, which absolutely he could. He has similar traits in his game. But I actually think this deal... And it's just the timing of it. Ryan Gravenberch, a really exciting young talent at Ajax, a teenager at Ajax, doing incredibly well. A lot of big clubs after him. A big club got him in Bayern Munich, but never worked out for him, didn't really get enough games. And then Liverpool come along. It reminds me of the Philippe Coutinho deal because Coutinho was that exciting young kid in Brazil, into Milan, a huge club signed him. Just wasn't the right time, couldn't get into the team, young player. I mean, look, I don't think there's any young defensive midfielder, any centre midfielder who's going to displace Leon Goretzka and Joshua Kimmich at Bayern Munich. There's not many midfielders who are going to displace them. Now, I know Bayern Munich have been linked with Jao Bellinia today. Um, but Ryan Gravenberch or any other 21, 22, 20-year-old centre midfielder, defensive midfielder is not going to displace those two at Bayern Munich. It's just not going to happen. So it doesn't necessarily make Ryan Gravenberch a bad player because he's not starting. It's just... The timing in football, in life. Um, so I would be very excited about this deal because I think Ryan Gravenberch will have a point to prove. I think he'll be hungry. Um, and he knows that Jurgen Klopp wants him. That will help the players settle in a little bit as well. And yeah, he'll, he'll be hungry. He'll have a point to prove. And I think we've we've got to trust Jurgen Klopp. He's earned up enough trust over the last few years with the signings he's made. Some of the underwhelming signings he's made have turned out to be pretty damn good. So... That would be my opinion on it. I think he's going to come in as a rotation option. Um, someone who'll play in the Europa League, etc, etc. But we'll see. We'll see how he's used. We'll see how he's utilised in this team, in this squad. Um, let me know how you think he's going to be used and what you think of the deal and what you think of Ryan Gravenberch and for the money that we're talking. But I'm excited. I think it could be a really shrewd bit of business again. And of course... When you really think about it now, James Milner gone, Oxley chamberlain gone, Naby Keita gone, Jordan Henderson gone, Fabinho gone. Dominic Soboslai, Alexis McAllister, Wataru Endo and Ryan Gravenberch brought in. That's some pretty good business, man. Pretty good business. Um, now, I will end this video. The last thing I'll say is a centre-back is still needed, man. A centre-back is still needed. If we end the window with just Gravenberch, it'll be a good window. Soboslai and McAllister look top, top players. Gravenberch can be a top player. And so I would be very happy with the window still, um, which I think a lot of people might disagree with. But a centre-back is so badly still needed, in my opinion. Ryan Gravenberch is going to come to Liverpool this evening, maybe his first part of the medical, the rest of the medical tomorrow. We can get it done, there's time. But is there time to do a separate deal? To get more money together. To get a centre back in now. That's what I feel is really badly needed. And we, we obviously spoke about this in the video a couple of days ago that I made. And You know. Is there enough time? Deadline day tomorrow. We will see. We will see. But I'm happy with the Ryan Gravenberg's impending signing. Not official yet. But um, I'm excited with the potential the kid has. And how he fits in here with Jurgen Klopp. Putting his arm around him. I think we could have a pretty special young player. Gives us another option off the bench and in the squad. It's it's good to have. It's important to have. So let me know your opinion, guys. Again, I apologize about the setting. I'm rec I'm hand recording this as well. It's not very professional, very amateur. But look, my little boy is four days old. He is flat out asleep on the bed upstairs. I don't want to be shouting in the room next to him and wake him up. And um, hopefully within the next several months, I'll have a. Uh, you know, a house of my own, me and my wife can move in there and then I have my own office space and we can record a video properly. Well, within the next year, maybe. But guys, for now, I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know your opinions. Appreciate you watching. Deadline day tomorrow. We'll see if there's any more business being done. If there is, 
stick around here. I'll have a video for us. I'll see you soon.